Okay, let's talk about um, envelopes. So we'll start from basic ideas and see what we can cover in terms of more advanced stuff. Uh, so amplifier envelope first, because this has to do with volume, um, and it's pretty straightforward. Hilariously, envelope amount. If you ever are pushing a key and like nothing's happening, it's probably because this is all the way down. Um, this is like, is it a bug or a feature? Uh, I'm not totally sure. Um, but that all the way down, I can't even press a key hard enough with velocity turned up to do anything. So you need this somewhere to make a difference in the volume. Um, I'm going to put it all the way up for now. So this is amount that the envelope affects volume, which we want it to do. So attack is the time it takes a note to reach full volume. So we turn that knob up, it takes longer. We turn that knob down, we get very fast. Sustain is, oh, well, let's go in order. Decay is the amount of time after attack it takes to reach the volume of sustain. So if I turn sustain down a bit, So you hear there's the attack, and then there's de decay time, and we reach the sustain volume. Okay, so that's the amount <clears throat> of time. This this is sort of like time, time, volume in a lot of ways, because sustain is the actual volume that a note sustains. So if I turn it up, there's no actual discernible decay because it's all the way up. Um, and release is after I... Re take my finger off the key how long it takes the note to reach silence so here I release the key and then there's a release time okay so hopefully that makes sense that's like the most straightforward part of this we can also make this velocity sensitive and that has to do with attack time more than anything else but it does have to do with sustained volume uh, so if I press a key soft I press the key hard. Okay, so keep that in mind. Velocity sensitivity is a thing. Okay, now we also have a filter envelope. So this is this is volume. This is how fast automation is going to turn the cutoff knob, basically. Uh, so if I put the cutoff knob down, you can hear we have that note. Um, and it can have its own set of stuff happening here. So this is how you get your synth brass sounds. So you sort of get a fast attack and a slow on the volume and a slow attack on the filter. And obviously there's a balance here to find. Okay. is kind of your brassy sound, right? Um, and same thing, you know, you can have all these sort of in opposition to each other in terms of volume versus filter, and we can even turn on velocity on filter. So if I push hard, we get a, f you know, more envelope amount, more turning up this cutoff knob automatically. And if I play soft, here we get less turning of this knob. Another interesting thing is envelope amount on the low-pass filter is positive and negative on high-pass 2. Uh, so if we go negative, we can get different sounds. <laughs> Let's find a good setting here. Okay, so what that effectively is doing is I've got the sustain maxed out on filter, but it's negative, right? So what that means is this knob's getting turned all the way down. 
you know, we can find a balance here. Um, so lots to play with there is the lesson here. Um, <clears throat> same thing applies to high pass filter. If we want to turn it all the way down, you <laughs> hear it's bringing in low end because we're doing negative again. I've got this set to negative. And there's some interesting stuff to do with a lot of resonance. <laughs> okay, you hear that happening. It's kind of sweeping the knob in. We can also do positive, which is slightly less romantic, but it's still cool. <laughs> so you hear it removing high end, basically. Maybe more like this. So if we play a chord. <laughs> okay, so that's the idea of it. Um, just things to play with. You know, if I put a delay on that, it would probably be more interesting sounding. Let's do that. We're going to talk about delay. Okay, so I hope this gives you, uh, gives you some ideas to play with, and we will talk about the LFO next. <laughs>